Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. And my man, thank you to my man. And today we are here for another week of content. Well, yes. But before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nika's Aesthetics for more exclusive lives, weekly videos to be a part of the podcast, which is airing. If you cannot support the channel financially, which I definitely understand, especially with holiday season coming up, just make sure to please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you can to help the channel grow. But now let's move forward. <laughs> Nico, I usually don't jump straight into like promotion, but this topic has me hollering and I want to talk about it just because I've always wondered about this kind of situation when OnlyFans couples go from exclusive content to threesomes and collabs, etc. with other performers, and then suddenly they're not a couple anymore. Suddenly they're filming with other people. If worse, suddenly one of them is in a relationship with the person they were filming with. Nico, yes, today we are talking about Fit Kit, Ja, and Kells. <laughs> Nico, what's going on? So, I actually didn't even hear about this story until I saw a tweet from someone I see on the timeline occasionally that was basically saying, so you telling me that man has been having super happy adult fun time with that big ignorant ass booty he got stole that boy's man, proceeded to then talk shit about him with the man that he stole, and now they're arguing all on Twitter.com. And Nico, just from someone describing Fat Cat as <laughs> with that big ignorant ass booty he got, had my curiosity peak. Because I'm just sitting here like, what did I miss? Because I was basically away for the weekend for my friend's birthday event. So, <laughs> I look into it. And basically, Ja and Kells were an OnlyFans couple that predominantly filled with each other. They were basically exclusive. They were pumping out content. Ja was bottoming, etc. But then they started doing threesomes with Fat Cat. Nico! And that's the thing. It wasn't even just a situation of, okay, well, we've done a couple of scenes with Fat Cat. It's whatever. And then he ended up with my man. No, because then actual tweets came out, Fat Cat and Ja were interacting on the timeline as besties, you know? But let me rephrase that because they're both masculine gay men. Um, Brodies. They were basically Brodies to the point that Ja was sitting here on the timeline saying, Oh, it's been so long since I done got some good D, I need to get piped down. And Fat Cat basically said, Why you ain't getting D if your man right there? <coughs> And Kel went, oh, I mean, he give it up, but you know, we just been hustling, busy making money, and I just been too busy for it, but I'm gonna get some soon. Are we still hopping on the game tonight, Brody? And Fat Cat says you want to do it online or you want me to pull up. And all I thought was, Chloe Bailey, have you ever wondered who else is fucking your man? <laughs> Because this boy got you online calling you Brody, Bestie, whatever the fuck. And he stole your man. And now, <laughs> and now Ja is online upset. Because from what I saw, he started this by commenting on a thread. What happened with your last ex or some stupid shenanigans like that? And he was like, I lost my ex to a fan of mine. And somebody said, well, what did the fan have that you did not? And he basically said a place to stay. So... Just from that, I mean, I can't take all of his word as gospel because as you can tell in this video, he is very jaded about what happened in this scenario. Now fuck Fat K. Ain't nobody cool with that nigga, bitch. Come on, read the tweets. Nigga got hemorrhoids. Read the tweets. For real. Kells want none of that. Come on, you mu that nigga is musty as hell, G. Musty as hell. I'm waking up like, what the fuck is that smell? Why the hell is you musty waking up, G? Huh? Huh? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Y'all don't want the Scorpio up. I promise you. I'll wait again. Right. 
Exactly. Y'all ain't fucking with shit. I told you, motherfucker is musty as hell. And fat cat, bitch, you got hemorrhoids. Nah, go ahead and repost that. And who gonna step to me? Nobody. Because I watch like that for real, bitch. I got them hands for real. Like I said, bitch, I eat and I'm gonna eat his ass up. Fat cat and that weird ass nigga. And the motherfucker that made the blog post. Because you never know who to really be doing that shit. It could have been one of them. I ain't going to hold you. Because where the fuck that blog even came from? Never even heard of the motherfucking blog. You. I am the club. Bitch, look at me. Come on, G. Like, what? I've been the club. I, you, man, I started this shit off being a Tumblr nigga. These niggas getting clout off trying to fuck everybody that they can for clout. I ain't never had to do none of that shit. All right. Okay. Because now he's online saying Fat Cat has hemorrhoids and... Kel is so musty and he wakes up musty and how could I be mad at that? I'm like, baby girl, it's okay. It's okay. If a big booty nigga that I invited into my bedroom stole my man, I too would be upset because honestly, hemorrhoids, I don't understand why gay people are so pressed on that just because everyone gets them if there's enough trauma to the butthole, especially because you were still filming content with him. Like, you're saying he's so gross and he's so musty in this, but y'all were still piping this boy down together until they cut you out of the scenario. And this is not me as offending Fat Cat because I'll be damned if a bitch sitting up here talking in my face calling me Brody playing the game with me and fucking my man so he steals him because that is dirty. <laughs> Am I surprised? Not necessarily because I've always wondered how this plays out because we've seen this happen with a few couples before where let's start only fans together and you'll see them partnering with people randomly after they do solo content for so long and suddenly they're no longer together but to have confirmation <laughs> that is what's taking me out because honestly like someone said if i invited this big booty man into my bedroom he stole my man and now they dragging me i would have just never talked on this situation i personally would have never brought it up because hemorrhoids are musty or not you were still hunching all two of them. All three of you were still performing and making content, but now that he stole your man, you're going off on people and I don't understand it. But I definitely wanna hear your opinions down below because it's interesting that people don't expect these kind of things to happen when they start to introduce other partners and other people into their romantic dynamic. Cause girl, Honestly, if you open the, let me not say that because I don't want to judge nobody for doing like multiple people, super happy though, fun time. And if a man is going to cheat, he going to cheat regardless. But if you open the door of your relationship to a new partner for sexual purposes, even if it's for a monetary gain, and then your partner leaves you for that person, I can't be surprised because even now, Kells and Fat Cat, to my knowledge, they're a couple, Fat Cat posted him for the boyfriend date, etc., but also, they still film content with other people as a unit. So, they were doing what you were doing, but he just took your man in the process. And that, that's the T. That's the T. I'm sorry, but I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. Do you feel sorry for Ja that he started to do content with his boyfriend and Fat Cat, and then Fat Cat crept in and stole his man? <laughs> just stole his man right underneath him. Or do you feel like it's not Fat Cat's fault? Because the door was opened in their relationship, even if it was for content-based purposes. Even though, if that is your idea, I still want to know if you think it's grimy that Fat Cat was in this boy's face calling him Brody, playing the game with him, and then stole his man. Because it's, like, that's my thing. It's one thing if, okay, we did content together, you poom poom fat, you stole my man, back shots like bongos, I can't compete with that, whatever. But it's the fact that you was in my face calling yourself my friend, playing the video game with me at my home, at my home next to my man, and you stole him from me. That is where I would draw the line. Because you didn't have to get close to me in the process to steal my man. Bitch, if you want to steal my man, creep. Nico, I don't condone cheating, but do not play in my face. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't condone cheating whatsoever, but it's the act of actively pretending to be my friend just to steal my man. That's what I don't agree with, but I definitely want to hear your opinions down below. How do you feel about him now saying that Kels is musty and Fat Cat got hemorrhoids, even though he was still collaborating slash dating both of them? Like, I, I don't understand. And I definitely want to hear your opinions down below because this time it's just messy. It's just messy for the sake of being messy. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
And now for a brief yet sincere shout out to this week's third eye tier subscribers, Corey S and Ernest H. Your continued support is greatly appreciated and thank you once again to everyone who supports the channel. And this week's live stream discussion is going to be over opening up the relationship and basically being open to adding another partner and or experimenting with others. And if that sounds interesting to you, definitely tune in.